Hi, my name is Todd Scheffler with Badge Utility, and today we're going to talk about wing plate and support leg repairs. So on this trailer, which is a 2009 model uh, utility reefer, someone's replaced this wing plate. And as you can see, between, or the stiffener here, between the uh, forward two cross members, they didn't attach it to the top of the wing plate. The other thing that they forgot to install is they didn't put in the angle brackets here, which you can actually see the weld uh, that remains from the original angle bracket. And because of that, when the trailer's dropped, uh, it's not spreading the load properly into the crossbars and uh, where they're sharing the load here. And you can see that the top of the wing plate is bending. Uh, right here and then also this weld at the front of the wing plate has cracked so the whole wing plate actually is cracked right at the weld and it's pulled away and the same thing holds true in the back where the rear stiffener they did not attach to the top of the wing plate either so here on the road side of the same trailer you can see this is the original wing plate and the stiffener here comes down and it overlaps, slightly overlaps the wing plate. And there's a stitch weld, there's a tack weld here, and then on the opposite side, there's a little stitch weld. I, this is the original um, angle bracket, and that was left off on the opposite side as well. And that's to reinforce this area so that when the uh, when you, have, when you drop the legs, it will distribute that load accordingly. So again, if, if this was done at a utility uh, repair shop or a utility dealership, instead of at a non-utility dealership, they probably would have rem uh, known to put, I'm sure they would have known to put these brackets in and to tie this stiffener in, both at the front and at the rear. And you can see that they, they also left that angle bracket out uh, on the back side of the leg here as well. 